Hey viewers, Michael Warren here from Essential Guitar Lessons and let's learn how to play It's Too Late by Carol Kidd. This is a killer song for beginners to intermediate players to practice bar chords just in standard tuning. I'll start by showing you all the chords and how to play them. So if you already know these, jump ahead. If not, I'll break each one down for you. And then we'll cover the solo at the end as well. Don't forget, if you like this lesson, to subscribe and hit the notification bell, songs and lessons uploaded weekly. If you're having any problems with the song, leave a comment and let me know how you went with this one. So let's get into it, let's start with the chords. So we're gonna have an A minor seven, so we have the open mm -hmm. A string, second fret on the D string, open G string, first fret on the B string and open E string. That's our A minor seven. We're gonna have a D six, so we're gonna have open D string, second fret on the G, open B, second fret on the E, and that's our D six. We're gonna have a G minor seven chord there, so we're gonna bar the third fret, so third fret on the E, fifth fret on, the A string and then D, G, B and E all on the third fret. We're going to have a major seven chord there, an F major seven. So this time we're starting on the third fret on the D string. We'll have the second fret on the G string, first fret on the B string and an open E string. So nearly similar to our F, we just have the open E string at the bottom. We're gonna have a B flat major seven here. So this time we're barring the first fret. So the first fret on the A string, the third fret on the D string, the first, sorry, the second fret on the G string and the third fret on the B string and the first fret again on the E string there. And that's our B flat major seven. We're gonna have a D minor seven. So we'll have the open D string, second fret on the G string, first fret on the B and the E, and that's our D minor seven. We're gonna have an E sus four chord, so we have open E string, second fret on the A, D and G, open B and open E, and that's our E sus four. We're gonna have an E seven chord, so open E string, second fret on the A string, open D, first fret on the G, open B and open E. We're gonna have a G sus four, so we're barring the third fret, fifth fret on the A, on the D and the G, third fret on the B and the E there, and that's our G sus four. We're gonna have a G seven, so third fret on the E string, fifth fret on the A string, third fret on the D string, fourth fret on the G string, and third fret on the B and the E, and that's our G7 there. And we're also gonna have a C major seven, so third fret on the A string, second fret on the D string, open, G, B, and E. So like a C chord, just take your first finger off, and that's our C major seven and they're all our chords there so let's get into the song now so for our intro we're going to start on our a minor seven we're going to do a down down mute up so that's a pattern we're using for that a minor seven one bar so down down mute up then we're going to go to our d6 and we're going to do a down up down so a minor seven down, up, down. Then we're going to put this little fill in. We're going to do the open D string, hammer onto the second fret. G string, play the second fret three times. On the third time, pull off to the open and then play the second fret on the D string again. So slowly. And up to speed. So let me put those two chords together slowly with that little fill. So. Let's do that up to. 
to split D. Now if you don't want to put that little fill in, you can just stay on the D6 there for a bar. So the, the D6 plays for a bar as well as the A minor 7s. So you can just do a down, up, mute, down, up, down, up on the D6 here if you're not putting that fill in. So and with the fill one more time, we do this two times for the intro. And from there we go into our verse and it does the same again another two more times. The A minor 7 for a bar, the D6 for a bar, with the fill or without it. That's up to you. Again. Then we do the A minor 7 again. Then we go to our G minor 7 and we're going to do this for a bar but we're going to go So from the A minor 7. And then to our F major 7. And we're going to do a down, mute, up, down, mute, up, down, up, down. So, I'm oh, sorry, up, down, up at the end there. So let me play that slowly from the A minor 7 to the G minor 7. Then to the F major 7 for you, sir. up to speed for you two times in the A minor 7 and D6 season. And that's our verse there. Now we go into our first chorus and we have our B flat major 7 and you could just do this with our down, down, up, up, down, up for a bar and then our F major 7 for a bar, down, down, up, up, down, up and we do that three times, now this is quite an easy change while we're on our B flat major 7 we can leave our third and second finger down and go straight to the F major 7 so it's quite an easy change there and going back's the same so let's play that three times now. This is the first chorus, start of it. Then we go to a D minor seven for a bar. Then we're gonna to go to our E sus four and do a down, down up, so half a bar. And E7, same half a bar. So let me play that first chorus for you so you can hear how it comes together. go back to our intro, our A minor 7 to D6 with the fill. We do our verse again exactly the same. Now our second chorus changes a little bit here. The start part's going to be the same from our B flat major 7 a bar, F major 7 a bar. We do that again, so we do it three times. F major 7. One more time, B flat major 7. Seven. D minor 7 for a bar. Now this time we're going to a G sus 4, we're doing our down, down, and our G7. Then from there we're going to a C major 7 for a bar. F major 7 to a bar. Our B flat major 7 for a bar. A minor 7 for a bar, 
G minor 7 for a bar, F major 7 for a bar, D minor 7 for a bar, and E7 for a bar there. So that's our second chorus. Let me play that for you. I'll just do the B flat major 7 and the F major 7 once there, and then we'll join all the rest of it together. That's our second chorus, so it changes a little bit compared to our first chorus. So for our solo, we're playing A minor 7, D6, and we're doing that for eight times, a bar on each. So we're just strumming these ones. And we do that eight times. And then we go back to our intro, our A minor 7, D6 with the fill. We do that two times now, and that's the end of the solo. And that ends the solo off there. So then from the solo we go straight to the verse again and that's exactly the same. And then we go to our third chorus, so let's run over that now. So the third chorus is nearly going to be exactly the same as our second chorus. We do our B flat major 7 for a bar. Our F major 7 for a bar. And we do that another two more times. F major 7. And again, B flat major 7. F major 7. D minor 7 for a bar. G sus 4 half a bar. G7 half a bar. Now this part's all the same except for the last two chords. We have our C major 7 for a bar. F major 7 for a bar, B flat major 7 for a bar, A minor 7 for a bar, G minor 7 for a bar, F major 7 for a bar, D minor 7 for a bar, and then we just finish with our G sus 4 back to our G7 half a bar each there. So that's the only difference in that third chorus, we're going back to the G sus 4 and the G7. Then our outro, we're going to do C major 7 for a bar, F major 7 for a bar, do that again, C major 7 for a bar, F major 7 for a bar, and then our last one, we're going to finish on the C major 7, and so down, you up, down, you up, down, up, and finish there. So let me now play that outro for you with the ending on the C major 7. all the parts to the song there. There's a few tricky parts, our intro with a little fill in there. And again, you don't have to put that in if you don't want to. It sounds more like the song, I reckon. You can recognise it straight away as soon as you put that fill in. And there's a few tricky chords there, going from that B flat major 7 to that F major 7. Just remember, you don't have to move your third or your second finger. There, and there is a lot of chords in that chorus with the C major 7, F major 7 there. So have fun with that. Now let's tackle the solo. <laughs> solo we're going to start on the second fret on the G string then play the fourth fret so, and then start with the bend and we want to release it so we're not bending up we're just doing the release so. and then two four on the G five on the B seven on the G so we play that for you now it's not too hard 
And then from there we play the 7 on the G again. 5 on the B, 7 on the B, we do a bend on the B. And then do a release on that 7 on the B, so... And then 5, hammer on to 7 on the B. And 7 on the G. 5B, 5G. 7 on the G. And then we're going to do a bend and release, bend and release on the 7 on the G. So it's like a big vibrato almost, but we want a little bit more than that. So. Then from there we go 4 on the G. 5 on the G and then do a bend on the 5 so. and then 4, 5, 4 on the G and then bend again on the 5 and then do that again 4, 5, 4, 5 and then 4 on the G do a release on the 5 on the B 3rd fret on the B 5 on the G, 4 on the G, and then 4, 5, 4, hammer on, pull off. So let me play that whole thing for you slowly, it's not too hard. Nothing too hard. Can be a little bit tricky if you're not used to doing the releases. So we're starting up on the bend. We're not playing up. We're starting with the bend up and letting it come back down again. And the last bit can be a little bit tricky as well. But a good little solo and not too hard. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you soon.